Good morning and welcome to Shades. We're entering a busy season in the life of our church, so today in news we're going to highlight some upcoming events for you to check out. Tori tells us about Christmas at Shades, Josh invites us to discover Shades, and we have a story to encourage you. Take a look. Our Christmas at Shades program is just around the corner. It's coming up Sunday, December 8th, and there will be two services for you to attend, one at 2 o'clock and one at 6 o'clock. Our choir, orchestra, and worship team have been working hard this year on bringing us the message, God with us, God for us. This will be a great way to kick off the Christmas season, so be sure to invite friends and family to come here to Shades. That's Sunday, December 8th. For more information, head to shades.org slash Christmas. Hey, don't forget that right after this morning's worship service is Discover Shades. If you've been visiting us and you feel like you're ready to learn about who we are and what we believe, then join us for this class in the fellowship hall from 11 to 1. You'll hear from our senior pastor, Danny Wood, and have the opportunity to meet with some of our staff members. Child care and lunch are provided, and we'll see you there. This time last year, Danny challenged the congregation, me, to read through the Bible. I had never done this, and God said, you know, Twana, it is time. Well, believe me, I had tried that before many times. It's like my numerous New Year's resolutions. It started out great, and about two weeks in, you know, life gets in the way. Well, about the same time, I had a couple of challenges in my own life. Number one, my baby of four kids were going off to college. And the second challenge, my school that I had worked for for several years was closing down and we were going to have to separate into three different schools. So I decided to take my Bible to school and read it on my breaks. That first day, two teachers stopped by me. I didn't even know them. And they stopped, what are you doing? And I said, I'm reading through the Bible. My pastor challenged me. Then they opened up about their own walk with God and the challenges, and we just started talking about the Bible, passages that I was reading in the Bible, and that was just an answer to prayers. I said, God, all you did was ask me to open my Bible. I thought gospel conversations you had to plan for, but what it taught me is it just happens. God does that. I think in the past, I thought I had to make the opportunity, and I'm not good at that. Those everyday opportunities that just God puts in front of you. You just have to open your eyes and see it. And it happens, it happens every day. I am mostly up to speed. I, I'm, I'm a couple of weeks behind, um, but my goal is by January, I'm gonna be through. I think I've slowed down a little bit because I wanted not just to read it, I wanted to understand it. And I never thought that I would do that. Church, there are even more ways for you to live sent than what you've heard in news. So visit our website, shades.org, and follow us on social media. 